up guys this is Mudvayne bringing you another video uh, I wanted to run over my uh, PVE build that I am currently running through the GE the global event this is global event 4 ambush uh, let's just hop right in I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time it's not a huge deal um, I'm running the Barrett's proof bulletproof vest for the extra boost and skill power which really isn't necessary I got skill haste health I wish there was ammo but there's not um, I'm also running a Tactician's Authority vet, uh, mask. I do not have the uh, classified yet, so it doesn't have the high stats. I'm hoping to get that soon. I am running a Nomad knee pad with classified, obviously, and it is skill power and electronics. And, of course, damage to elites really is helpful in PvE. I'm also running a Tactician's. Uh, this one is a, is a classified as well. And I have health rolled on it. I'd rather have uh, skill haste. Uh, it hasn't made a huge deal in the game, so I haven't really worried about rolling it right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of that junk. Um, my gloves, I got Nomad gloves. These aren't the greatest roll. I had to roll for skill haste, and I want, it had an electronics on it. All right, it didn't have electronics, so I wanted it. The extra health on kill is nice for the Nomad, especially in this type of build. Uh, that's Basically, that's the only way I'm getting all my health. Uh, this one's rolled in firearms, which isn't a huge deal uh, for global event. It wouldn't be bad if it was toughness or skill power rather than uh, firepower. But as you can see, both mine are running firearms. So uh, take it or leave it. Um, I, that basically makes it a three and three, obviously. Uh, if I had the Nomad or the Tacticians, preferably Tacticians, I'd probably roll it, run it. But the Barrett's does a pretty good job giving me a little extra uh, toughness since my toughness is fairly low anyways. Um, I'm currently running the house and I have talented rolled on it. That's not usually what I have on it. I usually have responsive, but I can't unlock it. And then competent and then obviously the card counter. <coughs> uh, that one is almost fully maxed. It's not quite there. Um, let's see. My lightweight that I run is talented, skilled, and determined. Determined helps me get my skills back really quick. And just so y'all guys know, it does proc even with, even when it's not this weapon. Uh, so, I mean, even when I get a kill with my skills, I still get that. So it reduces the times that it takes. And another reason, like I said, that skill, skill haste is nice, but it's not necessary. Uh, handgun really doesn't matter. I do have uh, cool headed on there just to reduce my skills a little quicker if I'm able. Uh, real quick, let's go over to the abilities. I am running the BFB Sticky Bomb. And as you can see, mine doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but when when it's maxed with the uh, ambush stats, it really does a lot of damage. This is just an easy, quick way to run through this. Uh, then you got cluster mines. Now, cluster mines are kind of weak, so I'll be, obviously I try to make sure all my stats, uh, all my mods, my performance mods are rolled into seeker mines rather than my sticky because the sticky is pretty powerful anyway. Um, and that's I think that's what I've got all of them running as. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, basically, I just wanted to show you guys this so maybe it'd make your life a little easier. Uh, there's going to be some footage after this, and uh, you can see how, how it works for me. Uh, if you can keep the distance from everybody, which if you go a little bit slower than I, I do, you might be able to. But I try to run through these missions as quickly as possible, obviously. Uh, I got a, a very little time to play the games that I need to play, and this one requires a lot of time to upgrade. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and we will see you on the next one. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The map says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic difference in virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation, which is a long way to keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great.
Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest... Camp, shanty down. Jesus, you don't think... Draconian solution. Highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected... I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle, out. Signature of explosives detected. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're going to kill every last refugee in that stand town. We need that tank moved somewhere. Near.
Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Agent. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Agents, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. 